Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Needham. I'm Needham Tucker, owner of Katori Technologies, and today we're going to take a look at what is the difference between SharePoint and OneDrive. I mean, there's a lot of confusion out there. We're going to try to clear it up for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, we're going to take a look at Office 365 SharePoint versus Office 365 OneDrive. And so I say it that way so you understand, we're not going to talk about SharePoint on the enterprise level. Uh, so I want you to understand what we're talking about. This is the question that most of our customers really struggle with because they don't understand the differences and when I would use one versus the other. And so to make this kind of more a, a visual for you, think of Office 365 kind of as a school, right? You've got a school that includes all these teachers and students. Think of SharePoint as a teacher, right? SharePoint's the teacher, right? You can have these multiple sites within SharePoint. You can have multiple teachers. And then each teacher has got their students, okay? And so the student would be like a OneDrive or a Teams or a group or a planner. These are the different tools inside of Office 365 that you can use. And so when we look at what the difference between SharePoint and OneDrive is, it's kind of literally like asking what the difference between a horse and a dog is. I mean, they're really different, right? They're used for different things. You're not going to ride your dog unless you're like two years old. Uh, you're going to ride a horse though, right? You're not going to you know, go throw a bone for your horse, right? You're going to throw a bone for your dog. And so you use these tools differently. So it's really important to understand uh, and work with somebody that understands Office 365 and how these tools will work for your business. So it's important for us to understand how your business works to figure out what the right tool is. And so let's take, for example, OneDrive. And so OneDrive is really meant for your personal data. So think of your PC as you'd have your My Documents folder, your, your pictures, uh, your videos, all that other stuff. That is what OneDrive is. OneDrive is your personal uh, file store for everything that you want to have for you. Now, most subscriptions for OneDrive include up a terabyte for each user, one terabyte of storage for each user. Uh, to have access to online. SharePoint is a little different. SharePoint includes a, a, basically a, a block of data that you can use and then adds for each user you have adds additional data. But SharePoint data is used for the whole organization. And so think of your team, right? And so SharePoint and Teams tie in together. When you create a new team on Microsoft Teams, it actually creates a subsite from SharePoint. And so again, another teacher would have that piece. And so you have a team would be considered a teacher at that point. And then you have the individual students or the members of the team. Now, a, a user can be a member of different teams. And why that's important is to understand that if you create a new team, you create another SharePoint subsite. And what that basically means is that you can set permissions who has access to this SharePoint site and who has access to this SharePoint site. So SharePoint's really great for sharing information amongst a group of people or the whole organization. Whereas OneDrive is meant for the individual user. Now, if you're a user of OneDrive, you might be going, but Needham, I can share my OneDrive with my entire company. And the answer is yes, you most certainly can do that. We do not suggest it though. Uh, it can lead just to a, a crazy amount of confusion because who's deleting your data when somebody accidentally deletes something? So you wanna again, only give people access to what they need and then give central control over one person in the organization that can kind of manage that SharePoint site for you. I hope this didn't confuse you guys. It can be really technical with the stuff when we start talking about permissions and who has access and sharing information. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how to set this up in your organization or you just want to pop us a question, hit us online at www.katori Technology. We'll try to get those questions answered for you. Until next time, guys, you stay safe out there and see you real soon.